Hello, welcome back to Compile Guru. Today we understand how to load data and creating a different type of graph to understand to analyze that data. So we are coming to the next level to understand the things. So, so we have to load the data. For load the data, we should have a file which should load the data. So I am having the CSV file to load the data which is named it auto so i have i will upload this file and give that link in the description of my video so that you can perform this all the tutorial on this file so see this is the simple data file containing some variables and having a lot of data fine i'm closing right now so we will what we will do we'll load this file in this R studio you can load the file a lot of different way so here we do by two methods first by using a command so command is just like that you have to use this command data d read dot csv as the file is csv formatted so i'm using for c and in the bracket I have to give the address of that file so here the address is of this file is so you have to use your address for your file csv so after that what we need to do is comma header if you want that table header name if you want to use that default header name so you can use that header equal to true otherwise if you give that false then there will be no header come in that data file or give any dot string equal to This one, this any dot string is used to tell R to treat the character present in the data set as a missing value. Okay, so what you need to do is this. Huh. So what you are getting here is that symbol is used without hex in the character. So actually the R is not taking that black slash. Instead of black slash, you have to use the forward slash. So what we will do again. Here we do change all the slices with forward slash. Fine. You can see the data is loaded find that this is the variable for data and 396-97 total data set stored in nine variables so for if you want to see that variable you can use that auto uh, fix dot auto command now share that upload that we that pdf file these are the command used for this one uh, these are the mm, so these are the commands for you to read that file so i'm showing here only two ways to show that so you have already uploaded that video right so for looking that data you need to use that fixed dot auto the command so here if i x u t o fine you can check this functions coming and you can edit them so another method of getting that data set you can just use that import data set from csv or any other format have to browse where you have located your file go to the that location and load that file and you 
you just need to do what and pull it. You can see here this file is coming, right? So this this is, is I use that command and this is by using that normal direct import option. <clears throat> so you can even check the dimension of that file by using this command. So you should be aware of this language is too case sensitive. You go use that case sensitive words only. So by using that time in auto we pair all the dimension of this data file. This 397 all the data set storing in nine variable that is column is nine. Fine. Okay. So coming to the next levels. So if there is data which is omitted, we can use uh, omitting the missing value. So for finding the omitting the missing value, you can use a you to auto equal to na dot omit auto so you can find there is no omit value so even if, if there is omit value it will automatically delete it so there is no omitted value so it will not affect anything even you can check the name of the variable by using that command names auto So you can find here that there are nine variables and which is render displacement horsepower weight acceleration em orange and name so so for clearing the history we have already used that function rm list equal to ls It will clear all the history. Fine. So we'll start with a new one. So what we just want to do here, we will do create a plot. So creating a plot, a scatter plot, you need to use that plot function. But you have to give the variable name. Otherwise, it will. Otherwise, that R will not know which variable we need to take for creating any scatter plot. So we have to pass the variable name. So I'm taking here MPG as a cylindrical for creating a box plot. Fine. So cylinders mpg fine you can see here add in the plot mpg object cylinders not found there must be mistakes s v l i n l i n t e r s so what here i did I will copy this to avoid the mistake again. Plot again. This is as it's coming, so I can use that way. Plot auto because it is not taking. From the file, that's why this error is this is the correct way to again. The auto is not open. This is creating this column because I have opened that file and clear all the shape. So what I need to do is here. So I've cleared the history. So because of that box is not creating now. I'm creating again using that command and it will automatically give that plot. So you can find this plot is created, right? 
so what you can do else since the number of possible value of cylinder is too small right so we can create this as a factor to get a proper box plot for using that command you have to use this function cylinders equal to as dot factor cylinders right Ah, this is because it's not getting proper and proper value so, no problem we'll take it from here only to avoid that mistake cylinder equal to s factor is not taken right as cylinder s small but they can be treated as a factor right so this probably error is because of 